What do George Clooney, Jennifer Lawrence, and a bucket of chicken have to do with a plain air paint out in Kentucky? They all have something to do with famous Kentuckians and we're painting at the historic home of one of them. Stick around at the end where I list my personal grade eight of famous Kentuckians and then list your own favorites in the comments. Meanwhile, let's get painting with Kentucky Appalachia Outdoor Painters. It's in the 70s on August 15th. Just incredible weather. Yesterday was so hot and humid. We had thunderstorms that came through overnight. And once again, on a Tuesday, the weather is just perfect for Kentucky Appalachia Outdoor Painters. We're at the home of Henry Clay, probably the third most famous Kentuckian. Daniel Boone, Abraham Lincoln, and Henry Clay would be the top three. This is a beautiful homestead. We're in the garden area. It's just at the edge of the downtown in Lexington. Beautiful place. First time I've ever been here. I love the history. Uh, always something interesting at the places where we choose to paint. Here's a closer look at the garden as I try to find my spot where I want to paint. A little bit about Henry Clay. He won his party's nomination for President of the United States three times, but he lost the general election each time. Abraham Lincoln considered him a hero and an example of great leadership. Clay was known as the great compromiser for his ability to find common ground and try to resolve such divisive issues like slavery. He led efforts to abolish slavery in Kentucky, yet he continued to add more slaves to maintain this property. Former Vice President Aaron Burr came to Frankfurt and then met with Clay, who agreed to serve as his attorney after he killed Alexander Hamilton in that famous duel. I'll show a little more detail than usual of my sketch here at the sketchbook. That's a pastel pencil that I was using. Uh, I was using gouache, which is an opaque watercolor. You see those on the left. And then the pastel pencils are in that little kit on the right. Gives me the opportunity to do more detail in a painting like these flowers along the brick wall. I just loved the shadows that were cast by the flowers against the brick. That's what caught my eye. And so here at the beginning, I'm just getting all those shapes in and making sure that it is going to fit. You can probably tell from my voice that it's really kind of weak. And uh, this turned out to be my last outdoor painting uh, for a while as my health went through its reversal. The autoimmune problems I have, uh, I've tested positive for MS and Sjogren's and have the symptoms of Crohn's and uh, when I went to the Mayo Clinic they basically said I'm part of a massive new category of patients who have autoimmune illnesses that go from organ to organ and part to part and uh, kind of hard to understand why. Officially I have autoimmune pancreatitis which when it attacks me, turns me into a type 1 diabetic, and then when it leaves me alone, I don't even need insulin. But I'm in that down cycle right now, and the good news is that it'll eventually uh, remit and I get back to full strength. So I pack lighter for this uh, trip, and that's why I have just the gouache and pastel pencils. Our host. I got to get a picture of our host. Since this is her neighborhood. Yeah. That's Pam as she sketches in the same scene as Donna over here to the right. And uh, you'll see off in the distance the two flower pots that caught their eye, the entrance to the garden. And so that's what both of them were painting. And then Wanda shows her finished painting of one of those planters which uh, is a great work here. It is up close after she finished it and framed it and matted it. Really nice outcome for her painting. You would never know that Debbie is the social organizer of our group, <laughs> but she gets as far away from us as possible. I made you 
lot, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Stumbling along, yeah. Yeah. Oh, another nice. Yeah, I like the light um, coming through the sifting through the trees there. So that's kind of fun. It's a nice place out here. Yeah, it is. It's really pretty. We've been to some really pretty. I mean, just pretty places this year. And I like the places that have a great story. Yeah. To go with it. Yeah, this is. It's got a lot of history, doesn't it? Yep. Here's what Debbie's final painting looked like. She paints in watercolor and sometimes uh, often in gouache, opaque watercolor. Here's a scene that several of us thought about painting with that interesting brick and the flowers there. And here's the back of the Henry Clay mansion. And this is where Orly set up to paint from this angle. And she just does amazing work. It's amazing what she can do Here's her painting on location in such a large format and with great detail. Just a wonderful artist. So here's your reward for sticking all the way to the end in that teaser where I ask you what Jennifer Lawrence, George Clooney, and a bucket of chicken have in common. Well, it all makes my personal list of the great eight Kentuckians. Abraham Lincoln, Daniel Boone, Henry Clay, Muhammad Ali, Colonel Sanders, who founded Kentucky Fried Chicken, so hence the bucket of chicken, Ashley Judd, Jennifer Lawrence, and George Clooney. So that's my choice of the great eight, but I would love to hear what you think and would encourage you to put in the comments who you would list as your favorites from this list or any additions, subtractions, or your own uh, favorites. So vote in the comments and it'll be interesting to see what everybody comes up with. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I kind of combined a demo, the work of the others, kind of the highlights of Kentucky Appalach Outdoor Painters and that little history lesson and trivia question or vote at the end. So thanks for watching and it ends up here with us enjoying a meal together on the back patio at the Henry Clay Mansion.